again. I've got an exciting episode for you today. Mike's installing a reversing camera. And I'm also going to install the wastewater tank. Boring. And, and the solar cable box. But the exciting thing is going to be the reversing camera. Let's get on with it. This is the wastewater tank. This is a 40 litre tank, again got from Kiwi Tanks. On this side we've got the inlet. It's coming from the sink and the shower. This is going to be for the breather pipe. And then this is the outlet. And we've got a special connection there to is hook for, up. For emptying it. That's for emptying it. So this is going to be the same as the freshwater tank. And it's going to be suspended underneath. This tank is actually smaller than the freshwater tank. For the certified self-containment, if the waste tank is smaller than the freshwater tank, you've got to have a, a monitor. A gauge inside it, yeah. A monitor. So I've got the same gauge I've got in the freshwater tank. So this will actually show us as the tank fills, it will show it on the monitor. So I place rubber strips on the top of the tank and move those into position so they go in between the cross members and the tanks there's no rubbing so Mike's just about to drill a couple of holes for the vent for the wastewater more holes in Justin <laughs> the wastewater tank vent that Mike's put in. You need a waste tank vent so that when it fills up air can escape and when it's emptying it lets air back in. And the reason it's, it's done like this, it comes up from the tank above the lowest drainage point in the van which is going to be a shower and it goes back down and vents outside the van. And the reason for this is so that you don't accidentally overflow your wastewater tank all over the ground because they don't want that happening because it's messy, it's mucky, there could be all sorts of yucky stuff in there. A lot of people just run it straight up through their roof but we just thought this was the easier option. This is the reversing camera that I've bought. It's also a dash cam. The display actually clips over your reverse mirror. And it's quite good resolution too. You've got 1080p for the front and 720p for the rear camera. Well, the control unit in the front on the mirror, and I know I can get from inside the car, inside the van to outside the van, where I put in the gauges for the water tanks, leads through the headliner, down the pillar by the seat belts, down here, Yep. Then out, hold down the bottom here, and then run it underneath. Underneath here? Yeah. All, all the way by the water tanks, all the way around, through to the back, and mount the camera somewhere on the rear bumper. So to get this down through to the outside of the car, I'm going to tape it to this piece of cable, which I've already threaded through. Now I can pull the other end, and it will hopefully go all the way through. So... But up over there is the cable where it comes out of that down pillar by the seatbelt. So it runs up through here, going through that, it comes up round the edge of the water tank, up round by the brake pipes there, and goes on up to the back. I managed to pull the cable all the way through, now it's just fixing the camera on and uh, finding the power for the reversing light. Uh, it's just stuck in place there with some bit of butyl because the 3M tape didn't want to stick to the bumper. Now I just got to put in a couple of screws. So which one's the reversing light? Uh, I think it's manual time. So according to the Haynes workshop manual, the green and black cable there is the reversing light. So all I need to do is connect my red wire in with that one, we should be all go. So I just spliced into that green and black cable insulating tape. Now before I put this all back together, I'm going to press it out. So there's a reversing mirror, we turn, oh, turn the ignition on, put the car into reverse, and we've got a mirror, we've got a reversing camera, it's working. Take it out of reverse, and there it is gone. Now I'm going to need to find out how to work the front mirror, so there's a touch screen. So there's the uh, front camera. Swap. There's a reversing camera. Ignition off. I've just been up on the roof again where the leads for the solar panel goes through. The ceiling's all cracked and looks like it's causing a leak, so I'm going to replace the cables. Like it, my life is a mess. So there's the original cable that was put through. Uh, if we decide to update our solar, that's not going to be man enough, so I'm going to have to replace those cables anyway. I need to take that out and then put our new cables through. Obsessing over dress when
enjoy this episode our next episode we're hoping to make some nice progress we're hoping to get some roof panels up maybe some walls as if i get my finger out and do some work yeah so if you'd like to follow along and watch our van build please subscribe to the and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode yeah if you have any questions just leave it in the comment below so until next time stay safe have fun be happy